Hey, thanks for checking out my latest episode of Leiden Technology Tips. My name is Mr. Weinert, and I'm the Director of Technology for Leiden High School District 212. Did you know that if you have PDF files stored on your Chromebook, you can open them up and then use your mouse or your finger on the touchscreen to write or draw directly on those PDF documents and then save your work? Well, you can thanks to the Chrome Operating System's built-in PDF annotation tool. And the rest of this video is going to walk through a demonstration of how you can use this new feature. To get started, let me reiterate that the PDF files must be stored on your Chromebook's hard drive. If you have a PDF in your Google Drive, you can open it and then click on the little down arrow to download it to your Chromebook. When it's done, you'll get a little message in the bottom right hand corner saying that the download is complete and you can click on the link that says show in folder. You'll notice that this PDF document is in the My Files Downloads area. That is on your Chromebook's hard drive. If the document is not a PDF, but it's a Google Doc or Sheet or Slide Deck, you can go to File, Download, and save it as a PDF. Again, when it's done, you'll get a little message in the download manager saying that the download is complete and you can click to show it in the folder. Once you have the document in your My Files downloads area and stored on your Chromebook, when you open it from here, this time you'll notice that there's a little pen icon. When you mouse over it, it says annotate. If you click on that, the annotation tools will appear. You have a pen. You can choose the different colors or sizes. You have a highlighter. Again, different colors and sizes. You have an eraser and you have an undo and redo option. So if I were to choose this pen and choose a color, now I can either use my mouse or I can use my finger and start writing or drawing directly on the document. When I am completely done, I can come over to the download area again. It's going to, by default, list the same file name. You can choose to overwrite the file that you previously had, or you can just change the name to have your own custom copy, but leave the template intact. So now if I go back to my files, you'll notice that I have the template, which is here, which is untouched. And then I've also got my version that I saved with my name that has my work. Now I can take this PDF document I could upload it to Google Drive. I could submit it as an assignment through Schoology, share it with my teacher. I hope this technology tip has been helpful to you and that you can now use the PDF annotation tools in the Chrome operating system to write and draw directly on your PDF documents. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more episodes of Leiden Technology Tips.